Okay. So we are back. We are back from our little uh, break. All right. And before the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman continues with the reading where he left off before William H. Morrow III called, I will reproduce the uh, on ominous, 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 ominous uh, evil sound that was left on our voicemail by the elitists, by the top one percent, and the message was always, always the same. We are It sounds like we are here to kill you. The culling of the terrible, herd. terrible, very terrible. And now a, a little medley. Um, who, somebody died recently. Somebody's uh, always dying recently. Famous. Um, famous. Um, hey, you know what I saw last night? Roddy, Rowdy Piper. Piper. Really? He was on this new show on A and E called Storage Wars. I thought he was he's supposed to be on He on was an expert on the kilt. And he gave the guy a price on a kilt. One of his kilts. Not his. A kilt the guy got in his what they do is, you know those storage lockers? Yeah. When people can't pay the bill? They sell? They sell what's in the storage. They auction them off. Oh, I didn't know that. And you get what's in the storage thing. Oh, I didn't and he, know that. This was a kilt. So he, the guy that had the kilt, he brought in Roddy Rowdy Piper Rowdy, Rowdy to Piper. tell him how much the kilt was worth. It was almost a thousand dollars. Really? For the kilt. I know every kilt has a different pattern of plaid. They call it the tartan. And every family, every clan Every Different family design, has yeah. a, has their own tartan, their own design of plaid. So it's, you know, plaid is not just plaid. They're different st styles, you know. And oh, uh, um, you know that show where people swap wives? Yeah. Well, Roddy That's Piper right. is supposed to do it with Ric Flair's family. Oh, Nature boy. boy Ric Flair. That should be really. I think it's it's coming up for the new season. That should be really entertaining. I don't want to miss that. Now do they of, uh, uh, um, do they swap in all manner? I don't know. I, I, I you know what? That's a good question. Uh, they never mention anything sexual about it. It's all compatible uh, compatibility stuff, and uh, they end up throwing hating each other. They end up hating each other's yeah. guts because <laughs> uh, you know somebody is being is being pushed on you real quick, and all their habits and their lifestyle. <laughs> um, Exactly. I'm trying to think of who passed away. <laughs> well, I don't know who passed away. Um, okay. Famous or otherwise? I can't remember. with the jaw harp. All right, let's continue with that uh, reading about the Republicans and welfare and food stamps. You want to start from the top? To conclude, to conclude, uh, to uh, re... Uh, you might as well reread it. Reread. About 47 million Americans received the food stamps last year. Only a relative few are required to work or look for a job as a condition of receiving this aid. Now, 
House Republicans are considering whether the work requirement should be strengthened as they seek to cut the $80 billion a year program. What are people supposed Which has doubled in the last five years. Well, no kidding, because of this, uh, people ran out of unemployment. Their, un their federal extensions are, are, are not there anymore, and they ran out, and there's no job. So naturally, there, there's more people applying for welfare. Oh, big, big come deal. on, they, these people are lazy. There's no jobs out there. Where are the jo Where are these jobs that the the House Republicans are going to require people to get right away? Where are they? Maybe slave jobs? Because they can always they can always make those out. Well, I what, think. what do you think all these privatized prisons are for? Right. I think the, 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 and that, the internment camps. They want to charge people room and board in a privatized prison. Which, which, is, which means that they, they want to use people in prison as slaves, for slave labor. And keep the poor poor, very, as our welfare programs constantly do. Very wicked, very wicked yeah. Well, what are those two from Psalms? The right wing. Oh, Psalms 10-2, yeah. Psalms 10-8. The wicked have set their sights on the poor. The all the biblical verses that prove and there are hundreds of them that prove that conservatives are wrong how to defeat a conservative bible verses are all collectively under the um the uh, front cover page of uh one of our um facebook groups called progressive hard-hitting truth it's it's a it's a cover you can't miss it. It's it's Satan on the dollar bill, and right under there, you you're going to see all the Bible verses uh, that proves that Republicans, right wing Republicans, conservatives, fundamentalists, whatever you want to call these these demons, it proves that uh, their God is not the God of the Bible. Yeah. Everything they do, as far as the poor is concerned, is against the, the Bible. That's true. It's anti-Bible. Anti-Bible. Everything they do. Yes. A small group of GOP lawmakers was expected to meet on Wednesday to discuss trimming the program, now called the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP. Oh yes, yeah, SNAP that wants to give you a few bucks a week for, for, for food. It was unclear whether they would be able to agree on an approach before Congress leaves town for its August recess. Another vacation. Yeah. They I were, thought they were still on vacation. They were off a month, from what I heard. Wow. And they're gonna they're supposed to work nine days and then take another vacation. This is No the, no no. They don't work. This is the Republican Congress that wants the poor to die, and, and, the, and the people making God knows, they give themselves a raise every year. Who but, blames it on Obama because they can't get together. Gridlock is his fault, not theirs. And you know, but they'll, the, the do-nothing Congress that makes a couple, a few hundred grand or a couple hundred grand a year with perks, or not counting the perks, they're the ones that would tell poor people on social services that they're a bunch of lazy bums. Uh -huh. What about them? They're the biggest welfare cheats sucking the blood of the taxpayers. That's why they can talk. The middle class taxpayers. Because they know what they do. Middle class. So they project yeah. it on others. The middle class taxpayers, right. And, and the U.S. media never mentions anything about this. They don't say nothing. Never go to the heart of the matter. The pussies, you know, they don't say nothing about the 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 House Republicans being the biggest welfare cheats and the biggest lazy do not uh, do nothing bums. They never say anything. The push to pass a food stamp bill came after House GOP leaders stripped the food programs from a farm bill that passed the chamber this month 
following the defeat of a combined food farm bill. Conservatives have demanded greater cuts in the food stamp program. Greater cuts. There's not enough there now. There's nothing there. And now. they want to cut. But God forbid you touch a penny from the bloated, disgustingly corrupt, and where they lose trillions of dollars, military budget. Very bloated military budget. And, and not, not to mention, I forgot to mention the uh, welfare for the rich in subsidies in Wall Street bailouts. Oh, okay. that's okay, that's okay. Oh, that's fine, but if you're poor and you need a few crumbs, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's really horrible. That, that they're up there complaining and yelling about it. And, and, and blaming that you are not godly. Why aren't Democrats using this material that we're speaking of today in, you know, in, in the House and in the Senate, telling the American people that they're total hypocrites, the right-wingers, and proving it? I know why. Why? Because they're not reading the newsletter! But it's common sense, though, what they're doing. If you're if you're a hypocrite and you're pointing the finger at the poor, getting help from tax dollars, a little tiny bit of help, and you're you're sucking up astronomical amounts of taxpayers' money to do very little, if nothing, to buy croissants and and, and, and coffee. Two million dollars of taxpayers' money for coffee and pastries. The for their meetings, the yeah. House Republican meetings, right? Yeah. And not to mention their salaries for doing nothing. Yeah. They work. I wouldn't even say they work Don't part time. Use the word work. No, they 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 show up at, at Congress. <laughs> No show jobs. <laughs> no show, no, yeah, well, yeah, no show. No production, either. Well, physically they show up, but, but mentally, physically, I mean mentally, and uh, they don't. And what I'm saying is, they're total hypocrites when they point the finger at a poor schmuck getting a few crumbs. But their salaries, which are based on far less than a part-time uh, job, a part-time uh, And you know what else it's employment. based on? Far less than part-time. You know what else it's based on? What? It's not in the private sector. It's a government job. Oh, and they're against oh, the government jobs. Yeah. Oh, big government. Oh, big yeah. government. So it's not big government to pay them 175000 a year, not counting the perks, for for the the few weeks that they actually show, show up, up in Congress, yeah. not counting all their vacations they take, oh no, no that's not big uh, that's not big government, but it's big government when the elderly, disabled, the poor, the the single uh, poor single mothers trying to raise kids, uh, 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 benefiting the middle class. All right. That's that's bad. That's big government. Mm -hmm. Programs that benefit the little guy is big government to Republicans. Right. Interesting. The hypocrisy. Yes, it is interesting how it continues when it's so blatantly uh, against the Bible, which they claim uh, to be Christians. 35% of them, at least, claim to be Christians. But they don't know the contents of the Bible. Exactly. They don't know what is required of a Christian. So they're like snake oil salesmen. They're full of crap. Whoa. They're liars. Exactly. Well, who pins them down? Bingo. But when they talk... When, listen, the Democratic opponents, when they campaign, they could use this very valuable material yeah. in, in debates. When a Republican says, big government, big government, big government, and Chris Christie talked about when he got elected, all these people that got something for nothing, well, I'm going to put a stop to that. All the Democrat has to do is, what about you right-wingers in Washington and as governor 
getting a lot for nothing. A lot of something for nothing. And giving to your cronies. From the taxpayers' money, but to help the poor from taxpayers' money, a little drips and drabs, that, that, that's like a, 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 a big sin to them. Uh -huh. The hypocrisy is unbelievable. Unbelievable. A work requirement was raised during House debate on the combined food and farm bill. The House approved an amendment by Representative Steve Sutherland, Republican of Florida, that would have allowed, but not required, individual states to test work requirements. But a more far-reaching amendment that would have cut three billion dollars a year from the program and required most able-bodied adults to work to receive benefits was rejected. You know, it, this is so stupid on its face. If you can work and you got a job, you wouldn't need food stamps. If you got so it. obviously the jobs that they want them to work at are garbage jobs. With, with a terribly outdated minimum wage law, the jobs that are not making ends meet, not even coming close. Not even coming close. So they aren't real jobs. Yeah. And do because I, if you had a real job, you wouldn't be on food yeah. stamps. And do I, uh, do I consider a woman with children that's on welfare and food stamps that gets a job off the books, do I consider her a, a like a, cheat. a, a scoff law or a Ooh. cheat? No. Ooh. I say Ooh. bravo to her. You know? Yeah, because there's no way, there's no way that you can go from poor to the middle class or beyond mm -hmm. on welfare. There's no, no way. There's no now, way. the object of welfare should be to make that person self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. You know, able to take care of himself eventually. Sure, he may have uh, has stepped in some sort of hard times and has got to, you know, get himself out. But, what? but eventually, welfare should be to bring him back to where he right. was. Now, where are the options? Speaking of bringing him back to where he was before the welfare, where are the options in America today? Where is the job market right now? It's all overseas. And you know it's incredible? All these southern states that have a large amount of uh, a large number of minorities and uh, people living on fixed incomes like retired people, uh, like let's take Florida for instance. How the hell do all these so supposed poor southern states, even let's say a Mississippi, Louisiana. Or, Louisiana, Alabama, Alabama, all these things. How do they always end up with a Republican governor? Because they're never going to vote for a demon, a baby killer, but, oh, a oh, secular. Oh, leader. you're talking about their religious cult. Yeah. They are. They vote not according to the reality of their life, of their lifestyle, the standard of their living. They vote according to this religious cult that they call Christianity. Mm -hmm. Their version of Christianity, yeah. of and course. that's how they vote, without using their brains and saying, "Hey, we barely have a roof over our heads, and we barely have food on the table and clothes on our back, but we're going to vote for the Republican because he's against homosexuality <laughs> and he's Ooh, against abortion. Uh, he he's for prayer in school and he's anti-abortion and pro-life, so." We're gonna, you know, and and he he's a bigot, <laughs> except if he can he can get the illegal aliens to work for like next to nothing for him, mm. you know. So they vote based on their cult. Brainwashing. Real smart American citizens. Real smart. Brainwashing. Yeah. It's like Jim Jones when he had everybody drink the poison Kool-Aid or whatever, right? Is that what he did? Yeah. Come on.
Come on now, people. Don't worry, it only hurts for a little while. Come yeah. on, drink it. Oh. Drink it, please. Drink what it. about what about the what was the Reverend, the Marshal Applewhite? That told everybody uh to Call wear, no man Reverend. To wear white sneakers because the uh, spaceship Jesus is there. gonna uh send a bunch of uh, spaceships to pick us all up and they had to kill themselves in order to be raptured oh, and yes these people have followers yes <laughs> yes Marshall Applewhite Heaven's yeah. Gate Heaven's Gate clan you know their website is still in existence <laughs> who's paying for it I don't know maybe maybe had kids Marshall because he he's he, he died committed suicide. Yeah, he believed his own crap. Yeah, they got a picture of him with his eyes bugging out. Oh my yeah. god. With a stupid smile on his face. Oh my god. Apple white. Americans for generations oh. have come to depend on door-to-door -door mail delivery. Not too much anymore. It's about as American as apple pie. But with the Postal Service facing billions of dollars in annual losses, and I shall interject, due to Republican shenanigans. Oh, really? Yeah. I, don't was, I thought it was due to email. No, due to the fact that Republicans made a law back in 2006, I believe it was, that the Postal Service should, uh, 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 have its money for its uh, pension plan mm -hmm. uh, paid for 75 years in advance. Huh? 75 years in advance, which is taking six billion dollars a year out of the postal profits. Interesting. Very interesting. But the fact of the matter is, the Republicans want to give to their cronies, UPS, DHL, and Federal Express, the business of the post office. Let me see. There you go. And to do that, of course, they want as little work as possible. I'm, I'm a security officer, see? I have a legal... I have a legal... Baton. I don't have to get this registered because it's from nature. It's a, it's it's a it's a rack from a a a, a, rack a, a, a buck, a deer, a deer antler. See, like the shillelagh, you know. You know, I don't need to register this shit. Man. The delivery service could be virtually phased out by 2022. Under a proposal, a House panel was considering on Wednesday. Curbside delivery, which includes deliveries to mailboxes at the end of driveways and cluster boxes delivery, oh, would man. replace the letter carrier. Oh, they want to lay off the letter carriers. Yes. Uh, That's the option. Shrinking the government. That's correct. Except when the because the, the postal service was is one along with Social Security one of the examples of a government program that is beautifully run, beautifully. Why can't they shrink the military budget? Oh, you non-patriotic jumbaloni! Oh, why can't they they take a cut in in salaries? The uh, senators and republic and uh, and congressmen. Instead of making 175,000 or 200,000 a year, be, I think then they'd be even more corrupt. Make, make, if make. They made less money. Make 50,000. Yeah. They're not even worth 50,000. <laughs> yeah, everybody knows that too. They're 10% uh, 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 of the people oh like Congress God. only. Every time <laughs> I see this man's photo, he, he irks me. His face. His douchebag looking face irks me and gets under my skin so much. I'm talking about old turtle face Mitch McConnell of Kentucky. You're he, actually insulting a Galapagos, you know. Actually, turtles are supposed to be cute, but not this one. 
he he's this guy got should be made into turtle soup. He's got he's got unethical, underhanded written all written over all his over. face. He he looks like the kid that got his hand caught in a cookie jar. He makes all these faces. You know, I mean, John Boner Boehner doesn't doesn't irk me. He doesn't irk me. He just cracks me. Boehner up. is smooth. When he he's smooth. Smooth. Yeah, he's smooth. You know, and he and he and he and he and he, and he makes me laugh when he cries. But he cries a lot. Yeah, he goes from a real calm, smooth poker face to that ridiculous, like Stan Laurel, you know? Yeah, that's exactly what he reminds you of when he's doing it. Ali, Ali. Yeah. The proposal is part of a broader legislation by Representative Darrell Issa, Republican of California, Chairman of the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee. Designed to cut uh, costs uh, at the struggling post office up to four point five billion dollars a year. The Postal Service had a sixteen billion dollar loss last year. The agency has been moving toward curbside and cluster box delivery in new residential developments since the nineteen seventies. In April, the Postal Service began deciding whether to provide such delivery for people moving into newly built homes rather than letting the developers decide. A balanced approach to saving the Postal Service means allowing the United States Postal Service to adapt to America's changing use of mail, ISA said. Done right, these reforms can improve the customer experience through a more efficient post office. Yeah, well, they they want their cake and eat it. That's for sure. They they uh, they are the the hippiest hypocrites that you'll ever meet as a Republican. Remember this a uh, vintage photo or no? This vintage image of a. Uh, Yes. From, from way back, back in the day, the uh, pyramid of capitalism. Yes. See, on the top it says capitalism with the money bag, and then it says, we rule you, and then the next lever, le level is we fool you, politicians probably, and next level, we we shoot at you, hey. and then below that is we eat for you, and then all the all the schmucks, all the suckers, the poor suckers working for slave wages. Uh, holding all that up. Uh, yeah.